hello everybody we are going to study antenna radiation and microwave theory so what is an antenna antenna is anything that can emit a electromagnetic wave antenna is used for transmitting electromagnetic signals uh, and to for receiving electromagnetic signals how do we characterize an antenna an antenna is characterized by its radiation pattern what do we mean by a radiation pattern a radiation pattern is basically a graph which is drawn in three dimensions in each direction this radiation pattern tells us what is the intensity of radiation in a given direction of the antenna the antenna is assumed to be kept on the z axis so as we can see here in this example graph here this is the shape of the antenna that is uh, radiation pattern that is shown this shows that the radiation is maximum in the z direction where we see the uh, reddish part and it is minimum in the minus z direction which uh, we see as the uh, bluish uh, faint blue part in the radiation pattern when it is written numerically it is written in as a function of r theta comma phi we do not need r so eventually it becomes a function of theta and phi theta and phi basically help us uh, express the direction in uh, using polar coordinates the simplest antenna is called as a isotropic uh, antenna isotropic antenna is the antenna which emits equally in all directions so as expected its radiation pattern so in every direction it will have the same radiation pattern so its radiation pattern if plotted in three dimensions would look like a sphere this is a example of a radiation pattern of a antenna which is non isotropic we can think of it as a typical uh, antenna radiation pattern uh, <coughs> usually it is also noticed that the radiation pattern is uh, symmet is symmetric along the z axis so it is good enough to plot it in uh, only two dimensions so we can think of we can think of the radiation looking at the radiation pattern from the top uh, from the top uh, on the we can think of the radiation pattern being plotted on the x y axis here only looking from the top in a three dimension case so this is a example of a typical radiation pattern this has multiple uh, each this radiation pattern is characterized as loops lobes l o b e so in this case the main lobe is the direction in which maximum radiation happens the side lobes is where minimum radiation happens and back lobe is the one which is exactly opposite to the main lobe side lobes uh, the energy is wasted in the side lobe radiation pattern so in a ideal antenna we wouldn't want uh, a lot of air, air radiation intensity in the side lobes we would ideally want depending on the design of the antenna we would ideally want the radiation pattern to be concentrated in its main lobe this is again a blown up portion of the main lobe this is used for the analysis of the radiation pattern this helps us understand the antenna more this tells us this tells us in which direction uh, the maximum radiation is given and uh, what are the minor lobes in comparison for, for in comparison for the sake of uh, standardization the maximum radiation is termed as 1 everything else is divided is has is 1 so everything else is divided by the maximum radiation okay. in the next video we will see uh, the different characteristics of uh, antenna this was the basic of antenna